Many women in rural areas earn a living from farming or fisheries. The money they earn by selling produce benefits their entire family. While women are very entrepreneurial, they often face similar challenges when trying to run a business on their own. Women who deal in fish are no exception to this. By organizing themselves in groups to work towards a common cause, women can overcome many challenges, as we will see from the Chiyindi Women Fish Processors Association in Uganda. The association was registered in 2010 and is composed of 60 community members, most of whom are women. In their association, the women are divided into cohorts of 15 women and each cohort takes part in buying, drying and selling a given type of fish. All members meet every Wednesday and each cohort reports to the association the results of their part of the business. After attending training on good post-harvest handling and value addition for fish, the women in Chiindi realized that they could not overcome their challenges individually. The reason why I encourage you to be in a group is that you are able to get support and work together to be able to fight challenges which cannot be fought when you are alone. All members faced similar challenges, such as low income, poor quality of raw silver fish, poor fish handling and hygiene, the lack of appropriate technology to improve the quality of fish, and lack of knowledge on value addition and shelf life. The training helped to highlight the challenges that the women needed to tackle to see the benefits of working together and to jointly find possible solutions. It is better than being alone, as it is hard to learn when you are alone on that job and then he or she cannot go forward. The second reason, we saw that if we work together, it will help us to find a joint market if we are doing the same work. Also, that if we are together, we shall be advising one another when together. They formed an association and elected their leadership democratically. With good leadership, the women were able to discuss in depth with the fishermen in order to get better quality silver fish. As none of the members had enough money to invest in a quality fish business, the group decided to set up a savings and loan association. First of all, it is not easy to convince the other members to start a savings group in our association. Everyone was seeing it as a threat, but later, when we had tried it successfully, they accepted the idea. Everyone has saved some money from their sacrifices. Each has brought it and we save it in the savings group. So we have this saving scheme. It has helped us a lot. When you have a problem, when sick, other members come to help you. When you want some money to do other work, you get a small loan, something which you cannot manage when you are alone. Working as a group, they also started drying the silverfish together on raised drying racks. They also use modern and traditional kilns to smoke different types of fish including Nile patch, tilapia and silverfish. The improved quality of fish has enabled the women to target better markets while also developing and testing new fish products such as fried and packed silver fish that can be consumed as a snack. They also add value by making sun-dried silver fish, smoked spiced silver fish, silver fish snack and silver fish powder. You will not regret if you start a fish business and you are working together as women. That is the advice I am giving you.
This diversification has enabled the women to earn better prices from their fish and increase their income. They now access more markets and reach a broader variety of consumers. Even children like to eat their fish products. Having understood the benefits of working as a group, the women from Chiyindi also started to train other women to support continuous improvement of post-harvest handling and processing of fish. So what have we learned? Attending training can help you identify common challenges faced and to explore possible solutions. With good leadership and working together in an association with democratically elected leadership, you can make progress and overcome challenges together. By setting up a savings and loan association, you can pool resources and run a more successful business than if you would do it alone. Use improved technologies like raised drying racks to improve the quality of fish products. Try out new fish products to cater for diverse markets and to please the consumer. By adding value to your products, you can get more money from and increase your income. So women out there, enter into silver fish wholesaling and stop asking for simple upkeep money. Come into the fish business. Come and you will not regret it. Do not hesitate. Join a group and work together. Working together is the power. Wherever you are, whether you are only 5 or 10, join together and you will manage to develop yourself. Thank you.